hello guys welcome to my channel today's tutorial we are going to learn how to cut a basic skirt as a beginner and so when you watch this video after you should be able to know how to cut your own skirt as a beginner and so if you have not watched the other videos check the comment section and the description box for a link please do subscribe like and share this video for me and let's learn together Okay, so let's get started. And so I have this here and this. This is folded into two. This is one. This is for the back and this is for the front. Okay, so you determine this by your larger part of your body. That is the hip, yes. So the hip divided by four plus at least two inches. The hip divided by four plus at least two inches inches is okay and so what i have here is um 12.5 or almost 13 and so the hip is 40 40 divided by 4 is going to be 10 then plus 2 1 2 so i have more than 2 inches almost 3 inches which is okay and then when you finish you come to the back the back is the same measurement the difference is that you are going to add zip allowance you can add between one to two inches so i have um one and a half this is it then you determine your skirt length from your waist to where you want the skirt length to be and if you are going to add band to the uh, skirt then you have to deduct the band inches from the length of the skirt so if your skirt length is 25 then you are going to deduct the band length. Maybe the band you are going to use is 2 inches. Then you deduct 2 inches from 25 and that's going to be 23. And so if you deduct and you have 23, now the 23 you have to add 1 to 8 to make it 24 for sewing allowance. And you add 1 if you know you are going to line the, the skirt. If you know you are going to add lining to the skirt, then you have to add 1. And so the band will take half inch on the upper part and then the lining will also take half inch at the down do you get it but if you know you are not going to add lining to your skirt then make sure you add at least two inches allowance to it two inches allowance and so with your 25 length if you deduct two inches from it it's going to be 23 so the deduction of two inches is for your band do you get it so you have 23 and then 23 you add two inches so you arrive at your 25 again now when you add two inches to it making 25 half inch will be for the band the band will take half inch when you join it to the waist do you get it so you will be left with one and a half and then the one and a half you are going to fold it in do you get it you're going to fold it in okay so if you are not adding band to it then you don't need to deduct any two inches from it any band uh, measurement from it you just have to measure your skirt length is 25 so you measure 25 and then if you are adding lining to the skirt length you add one inch to the 25 and then it will be 26 if you are not adding any lining to it then instead of adding um, one inch add three inches three inches because you fold the upper parts you have to fold the upper parts inside and, and make the ends neat one inch and then the two inches you fold it at the down do you get it okay so now that we have established this let's get started so when you have it this way the next the first thing to do is to place your waist to hip so this is going to be our waist line do you get it our waist line the next thing to do is you place it at the waist line. Then you are going to measure your hip, your waist to hip. Now the waist to hip, the um, the waist to hip, that standard measurement is nine, so nine inches here. Then you can add half to eight, and then make it nine and a half. But I usually leave it at nine without adding any half to it. But let's add half to it now if you are adding a band to it it means you have to deduct that two inches band from it do you get it so instead of 
placing the tape measure here and measure your nine you will take the tape measure up this way and place it at two inches because at the end of the day you're going to take two inches from it and then you measure your nine and your nine will be here do you get it okay and so you get the waist to hip and so let's measure a 9.5 okay so this is so this is your waist to hip so we are going to measure our skirt length and then the skirt length you are going to use 27 and so we'll place it here 27 here and then we'll come here also and measure 27 So this is the skirt length this is extra allowance do you get it so we have about three inches here okay so this is it okay so the next thing to do is to place a dart on it now the dart is your nipple to nipple if you don't know how to measure your dart i am going to leave a link to how to take the basic measurement for women in the description box so that you can watch and know how to measure your dart do you get it okay so the dart you are using is um eight eight divided by two is going to be four and so you place it on the hip line here you measure your four inches here it's four but instead of measuring the four you add half to it and make it 4.5 do you get it 4.5 then you come to the waistline also you measure 4.5 the same way and then from the 4.5 at the waistline you are going to come here half inch and then half inch so you are measuring one inch here from the 4.5 half inch half inch to get your dots do you get it okay then you will join the point you are going to join this by straight line okay the dart if it gets to exactly the hip it doesn't look beautiful and so avoid get uh, drawing your dart to exactly the hip and so from here we are going to come up by two inches two inches from the hip point you come up by two inches and that's where we are going to join our darts so like this like this you see and so this is the dots do you get it mm -hmm. and so what you are going to do is you have to trace this on the other side here trace it here and also trace it at the back so that you get everything equal okay now what you're going to do is you're going to draw this line to indicate that it is a zip line okay so i have pins here we are going to use these pins to trace it just pin this we pin it okay so let me hold this with pin so that it doesn't shift and then you come here also you pin it so you see it's showing here you pin this also the middle one also and then you pin this side also you get it mm -hmm. and so after this you take it and then you are going to just use your pen at where you pin those points mm -hmm. and then you are going to
you have this for the back then you come to the other side also you see then you mark that place also the same so you have it this way you see okay and so the next thing is to place your measurements on it now if you are doing this on a fabric when you pin to trace make sure that when you pin you don't take it out you pin it this way and then you use your chalk or whatever you are using to mark to mark the place before you will take the pin out because with fabric if you take the pin out you will not see the uh, hole for you to trace it okay so come to the waist the waist we are using is 26 and so if it's 26 you place this here 26 you divide it into four and that's going to be 6.5 so this is where 6.5 is and because of the dart you have here this you will hold it and so when you hold it it's going to reduce it by one inch and so you add that one inch to it and that's going to be 7.5 and then after you are going to add your extra allowance you can add from one to however uh, large you want your allowance to be but i'm going to add two and so one two so that's going to be 9.5 9.5 and that's it then you come to the hip line the hip is 40 40 and so 40 divided by 2 is going to be 10 and this you don't need to add any that allowance to it just leave it like that 10 then you add your extra allowance and that's going to be two inches so this is it and so it's going to be 12 12 here you get it okay and so the next thing to do is you come to the down now the down here you can choose to bring the same measurement at the hip line to the down do you get it or maybe you want it pencil so if you want a pencil it means you are going to deduct two inches from the hip line and then place it here and so we are doing pencil and so when you did that two inches from it is going to be 10 and so you place 10 here okay so you are going to bring this 10 to this place yes or you can measure how tight you want it to be how tight you want your pencil to be then you place that measurement there do you get it so this is it hope you are okay so you are going to join these points so with my skirt curve, I'm going to join from waist to hip. You can decide to use your ruler, straight ruler, and it will still be okay. Join it this way. And then so I'm going to come here a bit. Okay and then with my long ruler i'm going to join from the down here to the hip so i don't intend to make the hip line pointed so i'm going to just um shape it a bit and make it a bit round mm -hmm. so this is okay and so this is our skirts basic skirts you can make it pencil if you don't want it pencil like i said you bring this one here and you are going to measure the 12 inches the same way and and you are going to join it straight from here So you have it this way. So either you cut it this way or you cut it this. Do you get it? So this is it for how to uh, measure or draw or draft your basic skirts and also pencil skirts.
and so this is it so i hope as a beginner this is simple for you to follow so the next thing is to cut this out we are going to cut it and we are cutting it the pencil way So this is it so at the end of the day when you open up this you are supposed to get to another one you are supposed to get two of the back yes so that you will pin this line this is your zip line so you pin it now this is the front one so when you open it this is it you see this is it this is your skirt and so what you have to do is to hold the dart and so you will hold the dart this way you will hold the dart you see and the back too you will hold it the same way you will trace this on the other one that you get so if you place this on paper and so if you place this on your fabric you are going to get two of this of the fabric and then you are going to get one of this you get it so you hold it that this way then you add your measurements to it and so you know we added two two inches allowance and so you just place it here and then mark out your two inches here you see two inches here come here also mark your two inches then come to the hip line mark your two inches then you come to the down also you mark two inches we'll do the same thing also here then join this one also join it this way this is it so when you place the measurement on it this way the next thing is the next thing is after holding the dart of the back one you join it to each this way you join it to it this way you see this way and then you sew on top and then you join the other one also and then sew on top and you are done and then what you are left with is to add your zip to your skirt and then sew on this line to where the zip will end and then you add your zip and you are done with your skirts either pencil or straight skirt so this is it thanks so much for watching if you have not yet subscribed, consider subscribing, like and share this video. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.